but uh, the force of personality and the intensity he has night after night after night in this league where everybody's load management and picking their spots, like, I, I really respect it. So I've come around a little bit. I, I think, I don't know how much longer it's going to last. He's, he's a warrior, isn't he? he just, like, he right, just, like one of those football running backs. Yes. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> and that's what it's like to watch Westbrook. That's a good comparison. Houston's gone a meager 106 from three-point land since we got started tonight. Here's Westbrook and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Russell Westbrook is a guy you want to play with because he's going to lay it on the line every night, and you couple that kind of passion with his talent and look out. Houston with a big group substitution here. Green, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Damari Carroll comes in for Rudy Gay. Daniel House has checked in for Gordon, and McLemore subbed in for James Harden. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Omari Spellman has come in for Towns. Hernan Gomez comes in for Johnson. Culver's checked in for Josh Akogi. And it's Beasley in for D'Angelo Russell. It's Westbrook with the drive, and it's blocked. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for him. And guys, in the past 10 games, he stepped up his role in the offense in a big way. His usage rate has increased. He's finishing off a lot of possessions, and that's just how this team wants it. The free throw drops for Jeff Green. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Rivers, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. And so he makes both from the line. We've seen them struggle on the half-court offense. I had a coach that once told me sometimes guys just try to self-will it too much. Whether it's getting out on the break or scoring in the half-court, you've got to do it as a unit. And with the 2K Esports League bill, players not only get a salary, they can also sign endorsement deals. They're celebrities now under themselves. So what what are the endorsement deals that the 2K players sign? Is it like hat? Because you're not really moving. Nobody can can people see your clothes? They can, right? They can so you see need your sneakers, clothes. Hats, maybe maybe it's a hat, maybe it's drinks. a shirt. All of it. Do the announcers get endorsement Clubs. deals? What are, where's our endorsement deal? Well, if deal they money? don't, we could probably make the stab for it right here. I'm ready. This is this is the venue I'm, to do it right I'm here. I'm ready to do whatever. Let's change the culture. CTC. <laughs> and he's good on the second. The Rockets shooting 45% for the field early. Outside, Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Carroll for three. Beasley with the rebound. It's been all Timberwolves. To the paint, here's Hernan Gomez. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end, Greg. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Shoots. The Rockets with another miss. So it's Minnesota now. Another bucket. Wow. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Passes it to Green. They need this. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Now here's McLemore. He's guarded closely, and McLemore slams it in. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You know he's not going to mess that one up. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Bill, if you were building a franchise from scratch, which one current player would you begin with or, or build around? Probably Giannis, because he's he's still young 25 this yeah. year. I still feel like the ceiling of what he's going to do is go up as he becomes more of a shot maker. He's really durable, which I think is underrated. Like, he's just built to play basketball. Um, there's certain guys like that. I think Kevin Garnett was like that. Mm -hmm. Tim Duncan was like that. Just guys who you just know are going to be around for 17, 18 years the way 
I like to watch the running styles and the game, game just comes so easy to him and he's so athletic and really cares and is really competitive and just wants to do this and win and win at basketball. Um, that's how I pick. And when you got someone putting on a show like this, I mean, in the first quarter, you have got to be kidding. Pass to Green. He kicks it to House. Houston moving the ball around, and it's blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter. That one goes. Count it. Nine points for Jeff Green. Boy, that possession doesn't come together if it's not for Carroll's assist. He brings it home for him with the pretty dime. Here's Big Daddy. Good. That's another bucket. 71 points and no end in sight. Young fella is in the zone. The defense right now looks helpless. Rivers looking over the floor. 55 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, they've absolutely dominated that category in this one, and it's reflected in the score. The shot's good from Big Daddy. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Now here's McLemore, covered by Beasley. And McLemore kicks to Rivers. Off target from three-point range. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? to end the run. He can't get it to go. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. From the field, they have been out. Russell Westbrook is surly disposition on the court, but he talks about the power of positivity with his teammates. Throughout the years, I've been trying to find ways to you can't win it alone. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around them. We welcome you back to Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Timberwolves team out there. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. They've got Ben McLemore. Damari Carroll is out there with Green, and it's Rivers, and it's House, and at the small four. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, guys. Well, Big Daddy in the last game against the Pelicans was all business. He scored an incredible number of points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it, and he took advantage of it. Devin, back to you. All right, David, thanks. It's going to be interesting to see how he follows up that performance. Yeah, he was the driving force behind that victory, but each night comes with different challenges. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. Green. Another miss by Houston. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Bill, if you were just hired as a GM, which franchise would you model your approach after? 
I really like what uh, the Clippers did the last couple of years when they realized they didn't have quite enough to win the title. And instead of just being beholden to being darn close but not quite, they actually, like, blew it up and tried to figure out how to create cap space, find some young players. And still stay competitive. Build so the they, they kept the momentum of their franchise. Yeah. They, and they stumbled into a situation where they had a lot of flexibility.